Well, I get the fun ones. Here is a Hummer H3 that, crazy enough, the odometer has stopped counting. I've drove it around and it does not count. Even the trip stays at zero. So I did a pre-scan and sure enough, it doesn't have any codes that would help me out. There's no code set in anything, no wheel speed sensor codes, no output speed sensor codes, no comm codes, no nothing. No codes at all. I can talk to the cluster just fine. So what I'm actually thinking is this thing has an EEPROM that has failed to rewrite. So I'm gonna pull it apart, take the EEPROM out of it, and see if I can read it, see if I can replace it, put a new one in it, and program it with the original data uh, so the mileage is, is correct, and put it back together and see if that gets it going. Okay, what I've actually found out with the vehicle, this is the cluster, this is the BCM. The BCM had actually been swapped out with a used one, and that's when this problem started. So what happens is the BCM is actually responsible for the mileage. It's in this little EEPROM chip right here, and the cluster will pull that mileage out. But with, with this one already having the mileage in it, this and this was a conflict. So this one just stopped recording. So what we gotta do is pull this one off and we'll reset it. And we're gonna take this one and we're gonna rewrite that one to the correct mileage. All right, so this one, I, I can't read in circuit. So I'm gonna use a little hot air to uh, Heat this up and pull this off. There we go. And going to hook up our e-prone clip. ST. So we're going to read this one. And sometimes you got to just kind of mess around with it, get it seated a little better. Alright, so we're saving the original, that way in case something happens, we can get it back. So, these four blocks right here is mileage, so are these four blocks right here. So, we're going to zero all these out. to just reread it to make sure everything saved. 
Alright, so we got zeros and zeros. So that's good. And we're gonna set this over here. Out of the way. No. Alright, so now with the BCM. For some reason I can read this one in the circuit, so got pin number one. So just get this clipped on there good. And this one is a different top chip. So we're going to do new find it's a 25040 and let's read this one we'll save it And the mileage on this one is in row 80 here. And so it's four blocks, four blocks, and four blocks. These all have to be changed to the correct mileage. So this is our, our block that we actually need to change. So this is our, our real mileage, so we're changing those to that. So let's move this over here so I can see it. And we're going to B15, 5BA0. And then we're repeating this for all three blocks to B155, BA0, 2. B one five five B A zero. We'll save this. Um, just to correct knowledge, and we're going to write this. Same thing again, I'm going to do a new I'm going to read in row 80. There we go. So everything wrote correctly. Now we just gotta put it all back in the truck, make sure it works. Okay, so I was having some issues with the VCM writing it in the circuit. Okay, so pretty much when I put it back in there, um, something just wasn't right with it. The uh, cluster would say three miles, the radio was locked, it was a crank no start, it was like it was a theft issue, like the VIN wasn't programmed again. So, taking it back off and took the chip Re reprogram the chip off the board with the original file that I first got out of it and uh, change the mileage, putting it back on there. So now I'm gonna put the chip back on the board, go stick it in the truck, see what happens. All right, here we are, probably about the 10th time. We got the BCM back in there. First, I just wanna see, is my radio locked? And will it crank and run? I got the Cluster just laying here chilling. So radio's unlocked. We crank and run. Good. Alright, so now I'm just gonna plug that up and see if, uh, if it'll take the mileage and if I got the mileage calculated correctly. I tried just using the numbers out of the cluster 
to ride into the BCM, but that was wrong. I had to use a different mileage calculator. So when I first turn it on, this is probably going to show zero, which is what I want. There we go, zero. Now, now whenever I crank it, the cluster is going to basically update from the BCM. And let's hope that the mileage is right. 180, 724 is pretty close because it had 180, 705. So we'll, we'll take this. This will work. Now I just got to put this cluster back together and put the dash back in on it. About the dash cover. And this thing is ready to put back together and take it for a test drive and make sure our mileage is actually counting. I think it will. I think it's going to be good. So let me get the cluster put back together completely, get it back in the dash, and we'll go for a test drive. Okay, here we go. Let's put it over on the trip because we'll know immediately with the trip. If it ticks over to one, it is working because before the trip would stay at zero. Let's see. and drive it around put a mile or two on just to make sure but so far looks good till next time